Well, I hope nobody is getting tired of seeing Kid in battle because she is my favorite ship and she's doing great tonight. All right, so we are in a tier seven, eight, nine random battle. We're on the Okinawa map and we have one submarine, three destroyers, three cruisers, and five battleships on each side. Well, I have spawned in the center, closest to Bravo Cap. I'm going to move on up into there and either spot whatever tries to come in there, do battle with them if necessary, and take it if I can. Looks like our radar ships are on either flank. I have the friendly Tokachi with me, one of the new Japanese cruisers. They do not have any radar. I don't know if they have hydro. They do have torps, 12k torps. Our radar ship is Alaska's over on the Charlie side and our Belfast which is over on Alpha side, so neither of them are going to be within range to be really helpful to me. My RPF is showing something just over on the other side of this island, but it's coming right down toward the gap in the island, and right now it's blocking my taking the cap. I've turned around where I can back into the, toward the center of the cap. That way, if any torps or anything are going to come through that gap between the islands, then I can scoot forward faster than I can back up. So I'll be quicker to get out of the way if I need to. I have smoke available. I have speed boost available. Let's see what's up here. Okay, looks like they're going pretty heavy over to Alpha. The enemy radar Buffalo is way on the outside of Charlie. And then the enemy Baltimore is over in a Pretty good spot in Alphas, but it, neither of them are going to threaten me. So let's see what's up here. Okay, I am detected, and it is the submarine. The 169 is right there. And... We are no longer detecting each other, and now I am taking the cap. So he went down under the water. Won't do me any good to try to back in there, so... I will just be content with taking the cap. Hopefully my Kansas or the Tokachi can drop some depth charges on him. I pointed out his position to the team, so... If they were paying attention, then maybe we can harass them enough to drive them out. Okay, Baltimore is coming over a little bit closer to me. I'm still out of his 10k radar range, but just a little bit. And nice job, Fletcher. Got the buffalo over there. Uh-oh. Oh, drop. Okay. Caught me in going in reverse and dug on it. That's not a good way to start a battle. Problem solved, sir. Good thing I have a heal, but it, it doesn't give me all of my health back, just part of it. Where in the world did those come from? I 
Oh, so I got tapped by the other kids' torps, huh? Okay, well, he's going around on the other side of that island. Looks like they're going to really harass our Fletcher, so I'm going to go on up here and see if I can't give them some distraction and maybe they'll lead the Fletcher. Oh, good job. Fletcher, you're just a mad dog over there. Just got the Vladivostok. Vault Wars down on the other side. Now I can take some shots at the kid. He can see me. Oop. And now I can see that there's a Hyda back over here. Alright, so let's get a few shots on this Hyda. Try to juke him a little bit. Ooh. Something hit me. Overpinned. Okay. Oh, goodness sakes. Enemy destroyer okay. Detonation on the Hyda. He should have been running dead flags. Engine I didn't actually have here. that much damage done on him. Okay, then. I am still detected, so not any longer. Oop, another overpin. Overpins hurt a little bit, but really they're not enough to kill me at this stage. I got the heal in, so I think I'm going to go on up there. That submarine has left the area, so I'm going to go on up there and harass this Colorado. Colorados are a big, heavy Tier 7 battleship. They're slow, though. And looks like he's in trouble from our Alaska, our Fletcher, our Musashi, our North Carolina, our Kansas. It's not a nice position to be in where the rest of his team have died on this flank and he's in the slowest thing in the area and being harassed from all directions. Okay, I'm just going to drop these torps off and then I see that I've got the FDG, the Frederick de Gross over on my left side here. That's a big German battleship that does run hydro and I would rather not get caught in his hydro. Our victory is in sight. However, if I stay over 6k away from him, I can safely smoke up and I can get some shots into him. Oop, I was the one spotting him apparently. There he is. Alright. Now let's see if we can light him up. Okay. Got the Colorado. I guess those torps must have zapped him. He didn't have much help. Yeah, just firing on his superstructure here. Looks like he's running the ground here. I don't know. Uh, maybe he thought that I was going to be throwing torps at him. There's a fire on him. Let's move to a different area of the superstructure and try to light him up again. There's another one. All right. Our victory is in sight. Got one on his front end. Got one on the back part of a superstructure. Let's try to get one on the front part of a superstructure. Oh. 
actually taking that torp pit helped me because I use adrenaline rush which gives me a better firing rate when I'm a little lower I end on my HP. Nice, okay. Got him. Had a third fire on him while I was busy talking. Okay. Now what's out here? Oh, it's Kitikaze. Okay. We're both a little low, but he's a lot lower. Okay. There you go. Dodge York's shell. He's got me detected for about seven more seconds. You get one more shot into me. There, now he can't see me. Now let's see if I can get into position to get my torps into him. One more kill, I'll have a Kraken. But I think my team's going to kill him first. Okay, I've got AP loaded. Oh, and he's done. Okay, let's look at those after battle stats. So I ended up with 53,000 in damage, 111 shells hit target, 78 of them were full penetration, only 33 non pins. So that's doing all right. One torpedo hit, four kills, got three fires set. That's what caused the kill, I think, on the FDG. One capture. And my one badge was for a dev strike. All right, ended up on the top of the leaderboard. 1,800 base XP. That's a very decent game. Okay, so looks like yeah, I fired one AP shell. I don't even know how you fire one AP shell. I fired 188 HE shells though and landed 111 of them. So target practice seems to be helping. My three fires caused almost 9,000 in damage. Flooding did not cause any damage. My potential damage was 370,000, so that's quite a bit, but I've gone way over that before in KID. All right, so let's take a look at her captain skills. Oh, and we can take a look here and see what their uh, new Christmas City port looks like here. Keep your eyes open. You might even see Santa Claus here. This is a pretty port. I think it's uh, supposed to be up around the North Pole. We can see the Northern Lights. Real nice area and good look at the kid. He looks a little drab with this paint job, but she's a tough little ship. Okay, stop lollygagging here and let's look at what Leroy Jenkins has going on these days. So the main things that I'm running with Leroy, I have greased the gears to keep my guns on target when I am trying to zigzag and avoid shots from the other ships. I run last stand and preventative maintenance to help keep everything in the fight and keep me moving when I do get hit. I don't get to use demolition experts so it lowers my fire chance but I traded that out so that I can have adrenaline rush so that when I get a little bit low on HP it actually improves my gun firing and torpedo reload times. I get extra charges of smoke 
and engine boost and my heal and then I have extra HG, HP here with the survivability expert and that helps a lot with keeping me alive all the way through fights. I am running radio locate that helps me find ships when they're hiding around the other side of islands and such. You saw me use it there earlier when uh, we were locating that sub. I thought it was a DD but you know that something's there and that helps a lot knowing that and then I am running concealment expert that makes me a lot harder to spot gets my detectability down to I believe it is 5.8 yep 5.8 which is just a little bit more than the best ships in the game but lower than most all right and then taking a look at my modules. And so the only choice module that I have here is Engine Boost. And I use that more than I do the Defensive AA. There were times where I have CVs really coming after me and the Defensive AA would really help. But most of the time, the engine boost has been much more useful to get me out of trouble in a hurry. Then the rest of it, I choose Main Armaments Mod 1 to keep my guns firing. And Engine Room Protection to keep my engines going. I keep my Aiming Systems Mod 1. Gives me a lot tighter shell groupings when I'm firing so they're not shooting all over the place. I use Propulsion Mod 1 that helps me scoop forward and backward when I have torpedoes almost uh, on to me then I can scoot out of the way a little bit easier. And then I have Concealment System Mod 1 to help add to my concealment and that's what brings me down to that 5.8 kilometers. Alright, so that is Kid and she's had a, another good evening.